That uh, famous scene in the Italian job where the bus dangles over the edge of a cliff. But how would the gang have been able to save their stolen gold? The Royal Society of Chemistry launched a competition to solve the mystery and it came up with an answer, as David Shukman explains. This is the Self-Preservation Society. The Self-Preservation Society. It's one of the iconic moments of British cinema. A gang heading through the Alps with a vast wall of stolen gold. <laughs> only to end up perched on the brink of disaster. We're balancing right on the edge. Very slowly, move this way. Very slowly. Michael Caine, playing the gangster Charlie Croker, has to even out the weight of the gold. But can he ever get watch it? Watch it, watch it. Well, 40 years on, a competition among scientists has come up with a solution. First, to smash some windows and lighten the load and let one man out. Then, deflate the front tyres and drain the fuel tank. Finally, grab rocks as ballast and then start shifting the gold. And this equation apparently proves it. An intricate calculation of weights and forces which ought to work, on paper at least. This is a solution where the road is, is being melted using... Uh, In all, 2,000 uh, ideas were received by the Royal Society of Chemistry, some pretty wacky. Melting the road, uh, drinking a lot of beer to create acid. We felt both those really sent the wrong message in terms of antisocial behaviour. And we opted for the, the one with the uh, smashing of the glass and so on, because that combined creativity, the right sort of maths. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. And that idea is? You turn the engine on, you all sit exactly where you are till all the petrols run out, which changes the equilibrium. The guys all go up the other end, they jump out, the gold goes over the cliff. We'll never know. They never made a sequel. But the finest minds in science are still thinking about it. David Shukman, BBC News. It's got us all thinking, actually. Um, I'll come up with my own solution, maybe in a couple of years' time. OK, let's have a look at the weather with Dan today. Hi, Dan. Hello.